I was awake till 4 a.m. Hi! I just feel like I need a hug and. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. Let's start the day positive. I've been doing this new thing where every time I wake up before I get out of bed, don't look at my phone, I think of three things that I'm grateful for. And I remember doing this when I had really, really bad anxiety. But I just kind of felt myself in like the cycle a few weeks back of just feeling really negative about my work and where I was in life, which I think is kind of normal mid 20s. But I started naming three things just mentally in my head that I was grateful for. Honestly, I feel so good. I feel really good. So I feel like we should start the morning by naming three things that we feel grateful for. <laughs> just about to head out on a big walk i was gonna go to the gym today but it closed midday and i just knew that i would have had a mad rush i hate rushing anything i like being somewhere and knowing that i have so much time so i'm about to head out on a walk i'm gonna listen to one of the girls bathroom podcasts which is my favorite just had an eat natural bar I'm gonna drink the rest of my water and yeah i'm gonna get my steps in Wow, I'm literally crying at this book. My brother gave it to me and he was like, it's the best book I ever read. And I've been reading it and I've been liking it. I've read loads of books on like meditation, Buddhism, self-help. When I had really bad anxiety, they were things that kind of made me see light and get out. And weirdly, my brother started getting into all of it and I feel really connected to him now. Like he says stuff and I'm like, yeah, I get you. And he said this book was the best thing he ever read. And I wasn't too sure. But I'm literally on like the last few pages and it's just making me so emotional. He just said to me like the book has loads of hidden meanings and it's just, it's quite spiritual. They talk about God a lot, like whether you believe that or not, I still think this is really interesting. There's just so many stories that you can relate back to life. And like, I feel like you have loads of realizations throughout the book. It's only a small book. It's called The Alchemist, but it's absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I started the 75 challenge because I wouldn't have even picked this up again. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. It's about quarter past eight. First dog's in at half eight today. Woke up feeling a little bit angsty. I don't want to talk too much about my anxiety on here, but then I feel like it helps people. I was having a nightmare that someone stole my ear cleaner and spilled that on the floor. <laughs> and um, But I, I actually feel kind of stressed because I have clients in this morning and sometimes you get clients that kind of want to push your boundaries and make you feel uncomfortable and yeah that's the part that kind of makes you feel like mm, this job stresses me out when you're in a salon and that happens like you've got someone to discuss it with or like don't matter because someone someone else might deal with them next time whereas when it's you it's like oh yeah i don't know i find setting boundaries really hard so when I do have to set them, it makes me really stressed. Anyway, I'm gonna start my morning with some overnight oats, which is what I made yesterday, which I've been having every day at the moment. They look quite disgusting in here, to be honest. So I'm gonna have those this morning and then I'm gonna get on with my three dogs today. Hello, darling. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, this is so cute. <gasps> ah! Cute. Oh my gosh, cute. How sweet are these? I could so make these. This is like a little bra strap, it looks like. Tempted to. I don't know where I'd find time to, but. <gasps> Love these! Oh my gosh, I so should learn how to make bows. I'm going to show you this book again just because loads of questions come up on my last poll on Instagram, which was about tips for businesses. And someone wrote about setting goals, like long term goals, and the law of attraction manifestation planner is absolutely amazing it's actually what i use i use this to book all my dogs in because it's booked into 30 minute segments which i think is really good for planning your day also has notes like i always i often think of things throughout the day that i need to do so i just put them down here and i can just tick them off i love that it has this little tick list for gratitude meditation and um, they all have a little quote at the bottom of the page as well which is really nice but if you are into manifestation and you want to plan into your future, this book's absolutely incredible. It has all of these different sections throughout the book. Um, this one folds out. This one has vibra um, it's about like vibration, affirmations, how to feel better. It also has questions to empower your day, questions in the evening, which I really, really like. I think if you struggle with anxiety or depression, having something positive to look back on throughout the day can really shift your mindset. Um, it also has things so you can write down like where you want to grow how you want to be better what you want to, basically what you want to achieve um i had one of these last i had one last year which is why i repurchased it just because i thought it was so fantastic i think at the moment they're only 12 pounds because it's um halfway through the year which i should have waited for because i ordered mine last week but they're normally about 30 quid and they're just it's just a beautiful book it's so stunning. It, it can really help you get clear on what you want your goals to be. So I'm actually going to go through mine tonight, I think, because I've had loads of thoughts lately about where I want to go in the future, what I want to offer. Yeah, I think it's really good, especially if, I don't know, like you have a job in mind. Please excuse my makeup when I talk midday because it all gets rubbed off when I'm working. But I just think it's really good to write goals down, have a vision for where you're going to go and how you're going to get there. That's really good. Guys, there's this exercise in this plan that I'm doing at the moment. And it's so freaking hard. I don't know if it's just me or if anyone else can do it, but it's all for like hip flexibility, which I, I love anything like that. And it's called a diamond frog. And it's kind of like child's pose if you know yoga or frog pose, but you keep your feet together. Let me kind of show you. I can't do it. It's so hard. So you're supposed to like put your feet together like this but sitting, so like normal frog pose is this. Like that is easy for me. I find that really comfortable, but I'm supposed to sit like that with my feet together. Huh. Did you hear my hip then? That's so hard. Hello. 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 Let me show you the most delicious meal. Some air fried potatoes, some avocado, hummus, Mush sauteed mushrooms and then this is just so yummy so you air fry the chickpeas with some chili salt garlic and then in a pan you pour oil from sun-dried tomatoes but make sure the sun-dried tomatoes in garlic oil then a whole red onion two cloves of garlic 
and then rice and then add everything to the pan oh and some cashew nuts that is honestly the most delicious recipe ever Do you want to try some first? Hmm? Do you want to try some first? I don't actually know what the bits are. Chunks? No, it's like chunks. What? I don't think you'd like that. <laughs> Do you like that? You don't normally like stuff with bits in. I think that's delicious. Oh, no, it, it likes us. It wants to stay with us. Oh! I hope our cat is friendly. Oh my god, it wants to stay with us. Look at what we found on our little walk. I've already had some of them. And then, this is our really bad drawer. <laughs> These pop corners. I'm very excited. I love sweet and salty mixed together. I'm gonna try some of them tonight. This is how my evening looks. Making lunch for Sam, making lunch for me. Probably gonna make some overnight oats and also cooking dinner. Good morning everybody, welcome to a very sleepy Wednesday. I am so tired. I think, what day am I on? I'm on day eight of that 75 soft challenge. It's going really well. Um, for those of you that don't know, the challenge is over 75 days. It's, I really like it because it's not too restricting. It's eat well, which I think is really nice. It's really broad. Eat well is different for everyone. So I love that. Drink three liters of water a day. I've really stuck to that one and I'm really noticing a difference. Firstly, my belly looks different just by I wasn't drinking enough water and I just feel awake. I feel really, really good. The next thing is 45 minutes of exercise a day. I personally work out three, four times a week, but the other days I don't really do anything. So I've been trying to make sure I get steps in. 
Um, so yesterday I said to Sam, let's go on a walk after work. So I finished work, got home about six. We went on a two hour walk and it honestly has just wiped me out. I'm so tired today. And I ended yesterday with the D-shed, which also just kills me off. D-sheds are so intense on your body. It's so physical. So that's just, yeah, that's just wiped me out. But I'm feeling pretty good. Um, the other things are read 10 pages of the book. I haven't done that the past two days because I finished The Alchemist, which was absolutely incredible incredible i'd recommend that to anyone especially if you're kind of spiritual amazing and the past two nights i've just got into bed and fallen straight asleep so i haven't really had chance but i'm just waiting on my first dogs now they're coming in at half past eight i'm having my fake decaf coffee to just trick my brain <laughs> and then yeah we got we got a really busy day today five dogs today please excuse this dog grooming face i honestly did not have time to even put a tinted moisturizer on this morning but I was just gonna tell you guys a little tip that I do when I'm tidying between dogs. I always set a timer. So like I set a 10 minute timer and I have to get all of my cleaning done in that 10 minutes. It just gives me space to actually do what I'm supposed to do. Cause sometimes I'll finish and then I'll just like go on my phone or like start looking at stuff online that I don't really need to. And then it just takes twice as long. So I've actually been cleaning. I've set a 10 minute timer. And then I'm gonna quickly have some lunch before my next dog arrives. So guys, I'm sorry if you can hear the microwave. Look what's just arrived. I'm really annoyed this didn't arrive before the beagles this morning. I ordered a new de-shedding tool. It was quite expensive. It was 24 pounds. I think this is quite expensive, but it's called a groomy. And it's like this. And it's for short coated de-shedding dogs. So I'm excited to use it. It's supposed to get loads of hair out, more so than normal. Quick release screen, what does that mean? Oh wait, I think you can undo that and then put a new blade in. I've got some more beagles coming in this week, so I'm gonna test it on them. I love getting new stock. Cool. <laughs> Yummy. What a lush day. Oh my God. I've got Milo. This is gonna be his first ever groom. He's nine months and he's never had a haircut and his mum has been incredible with coat maintenance. He's had puppy grooms with me, but never a full haircut. So we're gonna see how this goes today. He has the only bit that's matted on him is under his ears. So I'm gonna try and get them out, but this is insane. Six months, no haircut, and this long. And no knots apart from under the ears. Right there, which is a place people often forget to brush anyway. I'm so impressed. There's one of the mats behind the ear. Milo, that's your mat. And he's got another one. So we're gonna get that off now as well. Oh my goodness. Hello. I am done. I am totally wiped out for the day. It's 6 p.m. I'm gonna head down to the gym. I've got some mobility work to do. Um, today's just killed me off. I've done five dogs. My shoulders are in absolute bits from just like the repetitive, just constantly brushing or like holding something up. My shoulders are done. So I'm glad I'm not doing any shoulder work today. But um, just to end the day, one of my clients just lashed Katie's mum. She was just like, happy Easter, I bought you a little cream egg. And honestly, this cream egg right now, this is exactly what I need. I don't know what's going on. I've just put some tinted moisturizer on so I didn't look so much like a zombie and it's not looking great. But yeah, I'm gonna use this as my pre-workout. My clients are honestly the best ever, ever, ever. Like little things like this. I think just tiny, like acts of kindness go such a long way. I nearly cried, I was so tired. I was like, thank you so much. So I'm gonna head down to the gym now. It takes me like 30 minutes to get to the gym. Probably be there an hour. Probably won't get home till 8 p.m. But I'm leaving my diary here. I'm switching off for the day, I'm absolutely done. My dogs were gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Everything's planned strategically, so if there is a, dog that's harder working all my other dogs are good I can't even hold the camera up because it's hurting my shoulder so bad but um yeah it still wipes you out five well i started work at half eight and it's now 6 p.m so 
we're done for the day for sure. As you know, I've been avoiding what is that iced cocoa oat espresso that sounds freaking delicious i'm actually in the queue i've just seen something let me show you oh it's just gone off the screen i really wanted to show you because it looked fantastic i'm in the queue for starbucks because i cannot keep my eyes awake and i'm about to go do like an hour session so i need the caffeine that's probably gonna hurt my belly i've just seen something fabulous on the screen it was like iced cocoa something with oat milk it looks so good I'm really tempted to get that I don't know what it is I like to try new things I'm so not awake my brain is not here oh wait it's back that looks delicious iced cocoa oat espresso I want one of them oh wow look at my hair I'm honestly feeling fantastic. That coffee, that workout honestly did it for me. I swear, if you're gonna get into fitness or you wanna get fit, just do something you freaking love. I I did bodybuilding training for years. Um, I'm actually a qualified PT. I had a huge interest in that. And when I started coming back to training, after I'd been in a really hard relationship where someone didn't really want me to be training because there was men there, which was outrageous, but whatever. When I come back, I just felt so uninspired. I didn't really, I think I've done something to the brightness on this because my skin looks incredible and it's not that incredible. Um, I just really hated training. I wasn't obsessed with it. I, I don't know, but I wanted to move because obviously it's so good mentally as well. Like the endorphins, obviously incredible. Um, and I've just started a range of motion program and honestly I am just loving every second there's so many new things it's all like gymnastic base which is like oh I did jump gymnastics for years when I was little and uh, I don't know every time I go I feel so excited and improvements are happening and I'm just in my little zone I'm not getting super sweaty I'm just having the best time I still got some coffee left this was quite good but not that great i have really like i like earthy natural tastes and the chocolate in this is a bit too sweet for me but it did the trick i feel fantastic now i felt awful earlier on but i'm just feeling freaking good let me know what exercise you do and why you love it love to chit chat with people i also have another instagram i know this is like primarily all of my dog grooming stuff but i also have another instagram page which has like all my yoga on and my workouts and stuff which was the page i used to have when i pt loads of stuff got deleted because apparently i uploaded stuff for the pleasure of men even though that was my job but that's another story for a different day i'm gonna head home don't know what i'm gonna have for dinner but i'm feeling great see you guys tomorrow wow oh my gosh i don't even know if you guys can see the sun right now <gasps> how incredible i think i think the lighting's too bright for you to see but wow wow Good morning it feels like friday but it's thursday <laughs> you know yesterday sorry i've literally just woken up but you know yesterday i was like oh i haven't drank coffee in such a long time but i'm gonna have one because i feel so tired no kidding i was awake till 4 a.m I've had three hours sleep. I don't even feel that bad. My eyes are a bit stingy, but um, not a good idea. <laughs> I normally sleep loads. I get like eight hours sleep every single night and I slept for four hours. What on earth? <gasps> hello, hello, hi. Ow, we didn't bite my face. Lucy, she is my last girl today. I've not groomed her before, so I'm just gonna give her 10 minutes. She's a little bit shy, that's why she sat by the door. Hello, come on, come on. Hi, that's so brave. Lovely girl, you're lovely.
Happy Girl.
I think I just need to cry. I went to sleep at 4am. I did a shite job on a broom. I'm genuinely in a constant battle between going back to a salon or staying on my own. Hey, come on. <laughs> At least you're cheering me up. I haven't even seen Sam all week because I'm working so much and <laughs> Jane spells. Good morning, good morning. It is is it Good Friday? Is that Easter Friday? It's Good Friday. I am so Glad it's Friday. <laughs> I am shattered. I have a big ulcer here, probably just from stressing out yesterday and not having enough sleep. Um, I've got the next three days off, so so excited for that. Um, seeing my girlies tomorrow, my big group of girls, which is lush. But I've got two dogs this morning. Um, to be honest, I, just, I really don't feel like grooming today. I just want to go home I still feel kind of crap from yesterday um like has really got me down that I didn't groom to the standard that I want to groom at so I just yeah I feel really shitty about myself but I've got some gorgeous dogs this morning Albert first dog's disabled so um we just do what we can with him and then Rocky doesn't come that often he's quite elderly he's an older poodle um so we've got him this afternoon. And then I think I'm meeting Moles later. We're probably just gonna go grab a coffee. But yeah, I'm sorry. We're ending the week really tired and stressed, <laughs> but glad for the weekend. The first dog of Friday was Albert. Come here, darling. Albert's disabled. Um, he had surgery on his spine, so you can't walk very well, can you? No, but he's just, oh, he's really sweet. You've taken away all my sadness from yesterday. You have, gorgeous boy. You have. Albie. Albie. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can quite see how small this dog is. Little Rocky. He actually gets home groomed, but he comes here for a treat. You put him down. Huh? He's really old. Rocky. He was actually brown. Are you scared? Me. He's a bit scary. No. Oh, Yummy. The huge. I actually got thinking while I was working and kind of like decompressed from yesterday. And I was just thinking like how much we focus on when someone says something negative because I was like wow yesterday that really destroyed me and I felt so upset like today I still felt upset but yesterday another one of my clients also traveled an hour just for me to bathe their dogs I wasn't even grooming their dogs and I my focus just wasn't on that at all it wasn't even shifting to how incredible that is and positive and amazing and just like how grateful I am that people feel they want to travel to see me. It was just primarily focused on the fact I missed a few bits of hair and a dog. Like my mindset has completely shifted today and I do feel much better after grooming my two dogs this morning. I'm just about to have some lunch and then I'm gonna meet Moles. I think we're gonna go for a drive. I really want her to come on my channel and just do some like girly chit chats, but it's really hard with both of our schedules. So we will see what happens. Right, so I've finally with Moles. Yeah, Hi. Like, we look like twinning. We look like little 
<laughs> my hair's really greasy actually. Yeah, so it's fine. That's I, how you create the slick look then. I know you have to I have to wait to the end of the week till my hair's pure grease. Um but we're about to film our first it's not really a vlog, is it? No, video. I feel like it's gonna be a really short video. <laughs> a video. We wanna film some videos on my channel, like girly chit chats and things. So we're gonna try it today. Attempt. Yeah. Well, we, we don't know how it's going to go, but we're hoping to do a few, like maybe some challenges as well. But, um, we can yeah. just give it a go. We'll see how it goes. And see. Bye! Look how many Easter eggs we have. And that's also full of Easter stuff. Full of pizza inside the calendar. Yeah, Sam's dinner v mine. This is Sam's. Pizza. <laughs> An obscene amount of pizza. And I've got a salad inspired by... If anyone has TikTok, you need to go on the Salad Labs TikTok. Sam, don't swear. It's honestly the best salad recipes ever. So I used the Kylie Jenner recipe, but I changed it a little bit because I don't like cheese. So I've got tuna steak and then mango, avocado, potatoes, lettuce. And then the dressing was olive oil. The dressing was olive oil, balsamic. Honey, Dijon mustard, and salt and pepper. If you put balsam. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the bit of balsam in the There's only a tiny bit. I've noticed it. Oh, I thought I tricked you. You tried to trick me into liking balsamic vinegar. <laughs> I put some, Sammy doesn't like balsamic vinegar, but I put some of the dressing on his salad and I tried to trick him, but um, he noticed. Anyway, I'm going to end my week. My weekly vlog here with my dinner and I'll see you next week. Oh my goodness.